Hi, I'm Ty Grandison Jones, actor, writer, filmmaker. You may know my work from films such as the classic film Con Air, wherefore I played one of the convicts on the plane, or as the iconic 40 Dog in the hip hop cult classic CB4 opposite Charlie Murphy and Chris Rock, or as Hector Cubar Rodriguez in the long running NBC series ER. We're here at Real Deal Studios to introduce to you my latest project, Diamond. We're sitting here today with a few of the key members of the cast. But to my right is my producing partner, my co-director, and the lead in Diamond, the beautiful and talented Tessa Farrell. You've seen Tessa in Entourage as one of Eminem's girls, as well as the evil queen in the Dish Television campaign. You take it. Hi guys, thanks for watching. I love playing strong female characters. I am so attracted to their fearless approach to life. And when I read Ty's script, I knew I had to play Diamond. I mean, she's smart, she's courageous, she's strong, but yet she's vulnerable and has an emotional depth to her that makes her so interesting. Diamond is a story about this young woman who never really knew her true self. She was deceived at such a young age by those that she loved, so she was robbed of any kind of free will or morality. And this story shows her struggle between humanity and inhumanity, and also challenges her socio-political consciousness. It shows her struggle to change course and lead a life to normalcy and decency. But will she be able to overcome her dark, dark past? Or will she find her happily ever after? Also starring in Diamond as the misogynistic Senator Granger, is veteran actor and my longtime friend, Lindsay Ginter. You may recognize Lindsay from many, many, many episodic shows such as Lost and feature films such as the classic Mercury Rising opposite Bruce Willis. One of the things that I really was really intrigued about here, coming into this show, being able to do a politician who is entirely corrupted with power. This is something that happens for politicians, it seems, today. They don't really they want to solve a problem. They really just want to exercise their power. One of the things that they do that with is with women. Women suffer under, uh, under the needs that men have to, to gain a sense of, of their own strength. And this character, uh, the senator that I'm playing, exhibits that in a very deadly way. Something that I enjoy exploring. This project is blessed with strong, intelligent, beautiful actresses. That being said, also starring in Diamond is Elizabeth Yoda as We're glad to have you, Elizabeth. I am so excited to be a part of this dynamic cast and crew assembled here. 2014 has been an amazing year for my career. I won Best Actor and also another festival for Best Actress and nominated alongside of industry luminary Shirley MacLaine. That was a dream come true for sure and such an honor to continue that momentum coming on board Diamond with this amazing cast and crew is really exciting and I get to play the dynamic double agent role of <laughs> Rounding out the cast, speaking of brilliant, is the actress Lisa Thayer in the role of Officer Foxy aka Lady Fox. We're glad to have you Lisa. I'm thrilled. It should be hot, hot, hot. We are so excited to bring this project to life through crowdfunding. We get an amazing amount of creative freedom that way, because we don't have to follow any studio rules. We put together an exciting list of incentives for you to check out, so make sure to take a look. Coming up next, take a look at some clips from our other cast members and some exciting new crew members we have on board. Hi, my name is Clay Donahue Fonto. I'm a stuntman and actor in the film industry and have been for the past 20 years. I've had an opportunity to work on shows like Blade, U.S. Marshals, Equalizer, Spider-Man, Iron Man. Those are fantastic productions. But sometimes on those productions, you don't get the opportunity that you want in order to be creative. The reason I chose to work on Diamond with Ty and Tessa is because I get just that opportunity to be creative. It's a fantastic script. It's a great story. 
and it will give us an opportunity to put together some action that would be amazing. Look for this film, Diamond. It's coming your way. I'm Diamante. I'm a rock singer, songwriter, and performer. I grew up always doing musical theater, and when I was 15 years old, I started doing my own original music. Um, I was always releasing singles. My last single, Bite Your Kiss, was premiered on Revolver Magazine, which was super awesome, and Fuse TV. Now I'm also putting a song into a movie, which I've never done before, and it's so exciting because it's my kind of movie, it's my style. It's dark, it's edgy, it's sexy, but it's kind of new territory for me, so it's very exciting to be able to create something for someone else more than just what's coming from me. Hi guys, thank you for having me. I'm Diamante. Make sure to check out my music, upcoming tours, upcoming videos, upcoming songs, all in 2015. And I'll see you guys later. My name is Joshua Dutrier, and uh, I will be making the music for Diamond. Super excited about that. And uh, working closely with the directors to come up with a super cool piece of music based on the characters, of course. A little piece that can be used for the score. Um, but it's all tweakable and it's just work from the sketches. There are certain scenes that either fit or not, and then we'll build from these samples. We'll draw them little or, or epic. It needs to be big, I think, uh, with the whole personage and the assassin feeling. Crossover of James Bond. And, uh... Hi, my name is Alex Vendler. I'm the DP of the feature film Diamond, and I'm glad to be on board. I'm very excited about it. I really like Ty and Tessa. I think that they've got a great vision here. So I think for the um, the opening scene, particularly in that little house, you know, there's a big uh, sort of mood shift and transition that happens inside that scene that's really critical. And I like even in the script, there's noted the idea of having this um, uh, time cut where we start out and it's this you know beautiful idyllic little family home and there's kids and there's all this happiness going on and then inside this this push in crane shot it turns to night and even that still can at least look like it's a, a sort of friendly decent neighborhood and as we go into the house again it looks like you know a nice family scene but once the guys come to the door one of the things that I want to do is try to get that have some sort of interactive lighting cue where when they come in they either like knock over a lamp or break something or turn off a lamp so suddenly the room now is a is lit in a completely different manner and it's really dark or or at least there's a um, there's a lot of contrast and maybe play the the TV as a light source like the idea that you know there's really nothing else on and it's just the TV like lighting it and then what young diamonds can see and how she's lit and framed while this horrible event is going on becomes like much more of a sinister look. I think for something like this, because we have already the great acting talent and the script is interesting and great, I think it's worth trying to take it up one notch so that it already will automatically have professional, uh, you know, production quality and production value. Thank you for watching. And we can even have some of you as extras in the movie. And if you're an extra in the movie, you know you'll be invited to the premiere. And if you go to the premiere, you have to come to the after party. So you have a chance to come party with some of us cast and filmmakers here in Hollywood. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Help us cut a shiny diamond.